Welcome back upon for the next part of Limber's Company. And of course, a happy new year for everyone. Ah, in the last part a lot happened. Dong Bake, Dong Bake got an eagle. We had to fight her twice because I literally threw my fight. And after that, well, there was an entire zombie invasion. It wasn't really that pretty. Like really, it wasn't really looking that good for us. But, in all the chaos, in all the chaos, we were able to reach the dungeon of this place. Which means, technically speaking, I don't really need to care about my energy at all, because uh, in order to enter the dungeon, we just need some modules, right? Now that is actually what I thought I would do during this weekend, but practically speaking... Um, Project Moon has a different idea for today, huh? <laughs> Miracle on District 20. There's an event going on. For 25 days and 11 hours. I, I have to do this. I mean, sure, it's already New Year. We are already in January. But come on, right? I have to check it out. It's an event. I have, I have to. I mean, I just reached... The dungeon is calling me, but... Ah, uh, I have to. Who knows how long the dungeon is going to take, huh? And it's always weeks. No, this takes weeks. Maybe, maybe this one is going to run out. I don't want to record that far ahead into the future, right? <laughs> oh, and by the way, one thing, one little thing, I should probably mention. <clears throat> During Christmas, I mean, it's pretty obvious by now, right? I recorded a little bit ahead in last week, or rather the previous last week, in order to be free during the the Christmas time and all, and. I got a little bit lucky We're pulling for a certain blue-headed girl. I wanted to get the other Otis. It was all that I wanted. The blue fencer Otis. Now when I was trying to go for her, I was kind of already expecting that maybe it's going to be a similar situation as in Seng. And I was trying to go for a smile, and he just refused to join our party. Wow, Otis is really kind. <laughs> Otis, Otis knows. Otis knows what I want as a manager, which idea I kind of wanted to have. Now it was Christmas when I was trying to pull for for my Otis because I was a bit worried when uh, when I'm going to get uh, the chance to actually pull for her. I wasn't really sure how long the the banner's still around, so I pulled for Otis during Christmas time, and she gave me a very, very special present. Isn't it great? <laughs> Isn't it just great? I love my girl. I love my girl. She gave me the one ID that I tried to get previously when uh, she was the main banner for that for the time with Chroma ID and stuff. But I didn't get her. I was unlucky. I think Ting Tang showed up instead of Faust. I was kind of devastated, but at the same time, it's my luck. But Otis, this, the MVP Otis, came along and gave me the best Christmas presents I could possibly get in the Empress Company, right? So yeah, <laughs> it was great. Now I guess in order to be kind to her, I should probably do the same. I mean, look at this. Right now, it seems like uh, Otis has also an ID that is kind of related to presents, and she already gave me V7. I should at the very least attempt to get it. And I even have uh, a couple of selected box shards that I can technically use in order to get it as well, if this isn't going to work out. So I would say, because she was so kind to us, we're going to pull three times in order to see if I can get her ego. I'm, go I'm gonna say it right now, I'm probably not going to get it. So far, I wasn't really lucky in order to get egos at all. But I'm going to give it a try, Otis. I'm going to try to get you a present. 
And if this isn't working out, I am certainly going to... Uh... I'm certainly going to buy it for you? What does- are you trying to give me a present now? Let me check out the red one first. What the- <laughs> what the hell? Heathcliff! Huh? Right, I'm waiting. Uh, you're not the superior. What? Uh, I'm also confused, Heathcliff. I'm really confused. Let's just pull uh, the center and see. What? <laughs> what the hell, Heathcliff? <laughs> what? Okay, this rope, hold on tight, or sink. Very questionable, uh... Very questionable idea, Heathcliff. I was about to say that <laughs> that would have been way too lucky. What the hell is that? Missault? Missault is a rhino? I mean, I guess it kind of fits. He is a wall. Uh, Otis? Otis? You were supposed to get the golden one for yourself. This is supposed to be your present. You're not supposed to give me random golden one. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> that's more like it. Just, just a bunch of gray. Just a bunch of cray. Okay, one more try. One more try. If it's not in there, I'm just uh, I'm just gonna buy it from the shop. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really that lucky. <laughs> that was that was hilarious though. That was seriously hilarious though. <laughs> right, Honglu? Totally. Oh, uh, it's that cool Kuma. Uh huh. So you have a second bleed, I believe. Okay. Well, that was the expected result. Once again, I'm usually never lucky with egos. So far, I haven't seen a single ego getting pulled outside of the dispenser. Like at all. I haven't seen a single one of them being pulled outside of the dispenser. So how many do I need again? Egos are always 400, right? And I should be able to buy it... Uh, somewhere around here? Yeah, here, okay. How many did I have again? What to 67, so I need to open a couple more random first. So, okay, 400, there you go. Holiday! I'll stuff you a futile... Uh, it's always a bit quick. It always passes a bit quick. Let's try this again. I will stuff your futile wrath in this gift sack and hurl it right back at your face. Ah yes. Ah yes, it's even covered in blood. Uh -huh. That is Otis style. That is certainly Otis style. Okay. Okay. Now, everything. Everything has been checked. You still need to be checked. Okay. Okay. Now... We should be ready to start the event, right? Right, Otis? Certainly. Certainly. <laughs> okay, uh, event open. Ah, oh, Don is so cute. <laughs> Don is so cute. I already was able to see this in the intro cutscene or the, the, the title screen. I really love this picture. Especially those, uh, I'm not entirely sure what those things are, but they look adorable. Let's just ignore this thing over there, and uh, the saw blade, and the, the, the hammers, and the... Yeah, let's ignore the weapons that those little guys are carrying as well. Huh? Heathcliff, yeah, totally. I guess now I know why uh, we got so many Heathcliff ideas during the last couple of pulls. He is kind of related to this event, together with Don. I mean, there is another... Wait, there's another ego. Okay, that wasn't really in the dispenser. At least I didn't saw him there. What? 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 Oh, come on! Game! <laughs> what? Go clear cut to five first? Heathcliff! What do you mean go? But the event! The event! <laughs> I wanted to go to the event! Heathcliff! Aww. But 
wait. Wait a second. I have to clear Kanto 5 in order to... Ooh, how many days do I have for that? 25 days. They give me a time limit. I can't do the event unless I do the... I'm gonna miss out on so much stuff. Oh god, okay. Uh, let's just... Let's just go back to cut to four then. Um, yeah, we have a timeline. <laughs> we have a timer now. <laughs> oh, God damn it! <laughs> what? Oh wait, I can I can get I can I can get those things outside of. Oh, okay. So I'm I'm not completely locked out of the event. I can get a currency from uh, other story tabs. That's fair. That's really fair. Well then, without any further ado, <laughs> Remins uh, Remnants of League of Nine. Let's do this. For the dungeon, you may not select a support identity for Yiseng. Yiseng must always participate in battle. Huh? Yiseng has to participate in battle. Not a support ID for Yiseng. Can I not at least do that? Questions for later! Let's see if I can enter. Yeah, I can enter to spine. Okay. So, uh, Yiseng has to join the battles here? That's new. But again, it seems like we're on a time limit now. <laughs> 25 days. I might have to record a bit further ahead than I would usually do, huh? Yeah, at the very least we can get some trinkets along the way, right? At the very least we have that. Uh, as we approach the scent of the Golden Rose Resonance, I notice scattering piles of yellow. With the twisting space, petals were wavering. So the Phantom of Yisling's ego are over there. Come on, let's get in. He doesn't really want to. <laughs> he really doesn't. Oh, wow. I sure didn't expect I'd be back here. Is this thanks to the Golden Bureau? Or is it you, Yisling? Ah, Dong Rang. I guess you already ended before us? You shouldn't have done that. It's kind of dangerous around here. And when we got there, Dong Ring greeted us merrily. How cozy! That place was this, huh? He sang. Or rather, what place was this? He sang. The only place where I may breathe. That's what this was. There are stacks of papers on the desk. Ah, yes, you see, usually these are places for visitors like us to read. Mm hmm. He sang quietly picks up a stack. I couldn't begin to imagine what thoughts his face may have suggested as he silently read the letter on them. A letter I had written once, and its structure follows that of a playing script. It's then reasonable to assume that each act in this play was provided with one. If so, this may well have been the stage awaiting our arrival, rather than a simple emptiness. From the looks of it, we'll have to read out the script, right? Maybe Dong Baek might just come, he sang. If Dong Baek got to this base before she died. <laughs> I'm not sure what I should call this. Anyways, if the entrance opened when she was alive, her consciousness might have been robbed up in this, as ours were. Consciousness? Weren't we completely tracked into a new dimension? And for what reason did you... Stab Dong Baek back there? She hesitated a little too much. What? Did you want this kind of a loot from me? The reason. I'll hear it. No, it's really... You know as well, you sang. In that state, Dong Baek's death was imminent. Her life would have been painfully scattered away if I let her be. That is why you can't lash out at me, despite the anger boiling inside you. It wouldn't have made much of a difference at that point. This time, the Phantom of Ego might present himself differently from the previous one. The 
Phantom of Ego are places or images of someone's mind made manifest. It releases a powerful and complex energy. It might draw in people other than the sinners, like those deeply related to Yisang in that case. That's so, huh? To put it bluntly, it drags in a bunch of clowns to act on stage, is that right? Although this is merely a guess. Yes, I suppose that's about right. We'll have to do our best with our given role. We have roles to play, and if we don't... The image displayed by the Phantom of Ego will go awry, automatically preventing our access to the Golden Barrow. We must reenact the originals, in other words, Yi Seng's actual memories as closely as possible. Alright, I got that clear enough, so... What the- I almost jumped out of my skin! What happened? <laughs> I had people who accompanied me, either by caprice, coincidence, or fate. What a fascinating line. Why do you just stand in front of the door like dogs? Don't bake? Did you just call me- wait, aren't you one that just- What are you staring at my face for, like you were looking at a dead person? Why do I look cool, huh? <laughs> She's right, Grab Ryong. Don't act like such a country pumpkin. Do you want your mannerism to match your name? The, the hell are you saying now? What is it? Hey, I'm just reading the script, Mr. Heathcliff. The script, right? You didn't forget about it? Uh, that's just what mine says. Why do you whisper me like that? You know, don't bake. Grabrion was thinking back to how we all managed to gather here at T Corp. That really bugged me. Oi, don't call me by that name. Good acting. The real Gabrion always used to ask us not to call him by his name too. So that was a coincidence that it all goes well. Okay, Otis? It is now your turn to speak. Sang Yong. Ahem. <laughs> uh, so. As one might know, our hometown, S Corp District, was going through a turbulent time. Many things breaking and changing because of daydreaming uh, high ups who tell sweet sounding words with no substance and. Corrupted officers squeezing the people, the, the public's life and the economy tethered and twisted more and more each day. With no guarantee of arrangement between wings or position to apply for, researchers like us who pursue this, uh, the studies of knowledge struggle to find even a simple bowl to help ourselves. That was when Brother Yong Yi brought us together. Ah, I was the one who called Ye Seng and Long Baek. You grew up in the same town. Right, uh, brother Yong Yi and Dong Reng brought us together. There, I suggested. The wing called T Corp, a seemingly remarkable technology growth nowadays, generously backing invention of machines and technology. So it should be no problem at all to get any parts we need there, or the people invent for a living. So the like-minded one defected on the district empty-handed, risking everything. As everyone wished, we were free to continue our research here, even though we had to yield the colors in them, making it so they didn't outwardly shine. As Masolt or the League of Nine literature member had we played pointed out, I couldn't see any color in this place, or on us. Not that you mention it. Is so it some kind of after effect because of the memories? Even the flower just outside the window was devoid of color, waving like a turbid blur. In Teacop's district, having color is kind of a privilege. What? They, wait, they take away colors? I thought they were time related. Color establishes identities. There are few better ways to rope one's uniqueness than this. Isn't that right? For sure. And colors are some of the few little things that poor could normally have. It's terrible. Do they at least get it back if they leave the district? I mean, Yi Seng had his colors back, and Dong Reng and Dong Bei also had some kind of colors. Hey, Aningung? <laughs> are you gonna keep chatting away? 
The conference is today. Watch, I've made a vibrant amusement. Look, it will blow up better than before, doesn't it? I have to wonder what's up with those obsession with explosives. I, I mean fireworks, don't bake. Here you can see stars in the night sky, thanks to blinding light and smokestack filling the air. The stars were so pretty in my hometown. It was fun watching them together, you know? What's more, there's no color here. Where we were, we could at least see the colors of the flowers. So, uh, I wanted to bring it back in some way. Look, even if it is all black and white, you can still see it, right? Fire makes such a warm color. I'm a bit embarrassed. I don't have anything to show off for now. Is that really something to admit so merrily? <laughs> Treating injured animals in the street just took too much of my time. I couldn't leave them be. They reminded me of the yellow calf I left behind in my hometown. You were a farmer before? Oh god! It even cried! It even cried! How could you leave that one behind? How could you, don't beg? I don't, don't ring, I mean. I could never! <laughs> I would have tried to take it along somehow. Even if it is probably not fit to live in the city. I just liked you so much. I don't get it what it saw in you. It was abandoned by its mother, seeking warmth to lean on as an instinct all living beings have. Well, by now I guess it already has offspring, so... Mm, probably not. The cough was a male. And? Doesn't mean that it couldn't find a woman, huh? Oh? Uh, revived? What? Oh, bother. Here we go again. Grab Ryong, it looks like the bar owner's here to take the tap you all again. Why don't you just go outside and greet them? What the these finally pay up? <laughs> what the? Those crooks! How did they get here? The strong resonance of the golden burrow which he sang is affecting the entire laboratory building. They were caught up in it as well, but they have no ties to it sang. Since they weren't giving any role in the play, They'll instead try to ruin the stage. It will only get worse as the Phantom grows unstable. In other words, we have to be quick with moving the play's plot along, right? The more time we spend fooling around like a certain complete oaf instead of reading what the script actually says, the more enemies will attack us. Ismail began to lightly limper up, cracking her joints. So let's focus on the foes on deck for now. Right, first we clear them out, then we go back to the script. Never mind, we are not going back to the script. What is that ego gift? Yisang's level rises to 35. Yisang's up tier and Tretzman tier rises to 3. We were neither highlighter nor greedy vultures. We were merely children who loved technology. Did you just freely level him up for me? Oh, that's perfect. Okay, let me have a quick sneak peek. Seems like it doesn't make a difference. Either way, I'm going to have an abnormality fight. Well, we're certainly going to start with this one first, right? Totally. And I have to bring him. Oh, Don, I don't want to kick you out. I really don't, but I need somebody. To make use of the green stuff, we have so much green with our SCP trio, which I'm also not going to kick out. I kind of, I kind of have to go for Honglu. Yeah, we have to go for Honglu. Okay, let's do this. It's probably going to be some guards again, right? Usually it's the guards. Okay. There we go! Ah, she still got the 10 hit. The talismans. I love them, but occasionally I also hate them. Because I can't do anything about the damage. But it's fine. It's fine. In the worst case of scenarios, I'm just going to bring Sinclair in and let him heal a little bit in between the fights, right? I'm just going to pick up some easy fights still, not something like that. Anyways, where was I? Ah, oh, yeah. I hope you have been well since we. Converse last. 
I see flowers bloom outside, and the birds chirp every now and then. Though the scent of flowers spread as they like, they create a rather sweet smell once mingled in one place. I wonder if you have taken in such a smell. I was always worried about the gloom on Long Bake's face. But the things she presented at the Illuminators conference was relieving to see. They carry a certain joy with them. Can I take it that is her way of indirectly expressing the smile she couldn't make at us? Well, take it however you want, okay? You say. What are you thinking? I just can't figure out what your face might mean. It makes me curious to know what's in your mind. Those who have brushed past until now ask the same question. However, as I did not possess the eloquence to utter a concise answer in words, and the matter itself was too worrisome and perplexed to clearly summarize, I would substitute my answer with a figurative blank sheet of paper. You know what it is. Nothing. Nothing? In truth, it may not have been nothing after all. I would have feel a desire to scatter into the wind in lush blue, sensing the sway of seeds plunging into a scrawling mind. Well, how was my acting? <laughs> I guess they were good, how you sing? Quiet as always, though. Brother Yong Yi was a man of kindness. He was not one to harshly haber spite or reproach for others. You resemble him in that sense. Oh, could it be? Could it be that uh, the dungeon itself automatically shows the perfect roles for all of my sinners? I mean, Heathcliff was nailing his crumpy uh, attitude, right? Right away. He was perfect for the role, right from the start. <laughs> he didn't even look at the script, and he nailed the crumpy persona, right? <laughs> So I guess uh, the the dungeon is making it a bit easier for my sinners, so that they don't need to change that much about themselves. Okay, just a couple of flowers. Yes, some flowers. There you go. Perfect. Mm, I'm a bit worried about my Wardion. I guess those guards already kind of did a beating on her, but uh, it's still fine. She's not close enough to the stagger threshold just yet. Okay, there's an event waiting for us. Let's see what that's all about. That looks like a destroyed bot, and it's actually a drone. It's tumbled on the floor. I can only revive sinners where I can see the stars. So in the meantime, we might be able to find an apple to use if we search through it. Uh, sure. I mean... Having healing opportunities is always handy to have, right? Okay, let's proceed. A gluttony check. A sinner good at research should be able to help. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is certainly not going to be easy for you, but I'm sure you can handle some research. Yes, you can? Okay. Several wounds were left on Ryosha's hand while rummaging through the wreckage. Fortunately, we were able to find a small ample in it. After going through that trouble, the other sinner sighed at the ultimately pointless halt. We had to leave the room with my promise that I'd turn the clock for the next time. So, she got damaged? Oh, come on! You can't just damage my Ryosho, she's perfectly able to uh, avoid small cuts, right? Certainly! At the very least, we got a small ample from that. At the start of the turn, all allies under 40% heal 100% of max HP once per floor. Okay. But only one ally, right? Yeah. I, I read that wrong. <laughs> okay. I was about to say, <laughs> if it was all allies, that would be a bit busted. Seems like we have a strong encounter next. Okay, let's do this. You see, I called you this time because 
I made something interesting that I would like to show. <gasps> Colors! Colors! <laughs> um, Yung Yi, what is this? There's simply too many transit things that thrilled all to see, don't you think? The butterfly only wanted a lightly flutter, but to be punished with death for that crime, it felt just too unfortunate. Did you bring it back from the dead? I thought that kind of technology was forbidden by the head Treddy. You were the one to develop this? Okay. <laughs> it is no such case. Although the carcass remains inanimated, something has overwritten it. That's right, to be exact, it's the glass window. The butterfly can now be free within it. Even if it's winged, dent while trying to cross a pond, a gripped in somebody's hand and crumple to dust, or try out to do it with legs of flowers, the butterfly won't stop, and eventually, in the distant future, it will make it across the sea. If that happens, will the butterfly no longer be afraid of the sea? Splendid, Yongyi! This level of technology could have numerous applications. Yongyi, are you sure you really made this just for the conference? What do you mean by that? A gathering where we show technology we've created as a hobby in our free time after returning from the day's work, sharing our thoughts. Wasn't that the significance and appeal of the Illuminators conference our league had? But this, it doesn't look like a simple hobby horse to me. Are you still not over what happened then? That's how you see it, Dong Bake. I would like to know what you think as well, Lee Seng. No comment. As Dong Reng rightfully asserted, this is nothing short of a great first discovery. Alas. If frost were to form on the glass window, it would blur the reflected image all the same. As such, the frame of this glass window will need to be made firmer and straighter. So he already want to prove it? You sang, you managed to see through its essence from just a single glance. But personally, I can't seem to think of a way, so how about this instead? You sang, try recreating it in your own way. My own way? That's right, by the next conference. Is it truly okay for me to handle technology as valuable as the glass window? You got it wrong. I'm making this suggestion because it is valuable. And he wants you to shine and improve it, right? That's his idea. Make it better and get out of your shell, right? <laughs> And we have a couple more guards at hand. Okay. That's enough for the kill. And then we can get a more green resources as well. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's the gamble. Exactly what I wanted to see. Perfect job, you saying. Perfect job. Come on. It's not going to get the stake at all. Right. Maybe? It's already down to 24? He's gonna die. He's gonna die before we get the staker. Oh my god. Yeah, he's so dead. Well, that was fire damage, right? <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Shao would be so proud. <laughs> okay. There's another event, if I were to go downwards. But there's also another event to the left of us as well. I mean, it's pretty clear that we probably have to go further into the center of this, so how about we check out the bottom one first, which is a bunch of amples, okay? It is filled with K-Cops amples, all good for us. Hey Dante, can't we take at least one of those? Negative, the amples inject us only in this room. So it will not be possible to use them outside of this place. What will you do? Let's use one. Why not, right? How high are the chances that it's a bad one? All allies that lost HP fully heal. 
all allies with full HP lose HP and SP. So if I'm greedy and I want to heal everyone, I'm gonna hurt everyone. So that regard, how about I'm just going to heal one? Yeah, with the least HP, heals the full. That's probably my Rodeon, right? Effect the target. Locked like the sinner in the sorry estate, so we stood them at the injector and pressed a single button. The sinner seemed to have gotten much better. Was it my Rodeon? Friendly unit with the least HP, yes, maybe. I have no idea. I think it selected it itself. But I don't see an improvement. Oh well, let's just go back to the center of this room, right? After all, it seems like there's another abnormality battle waiting for us. There we go. More flowers down. They're probably going to give us all the flowers around here. I mean, they did talk about the flowers outside of the windows. The other abnormalities wouldn't probably fit around here. Okay. Another event. Let's see what this is all about. What the hell is that? Wait, are these eggs? Please be careful, it might be an abnormality. Come to think of it, I was told that the underground lab K Corp set up also manages egg from L Corp branch. Whoa, hey, is that thing twitching? As the sinner observes, an egg begins to move. What will you do? I could touch the egg, but it could also harm us. But then again, I might get Nego out of it, so uh, why not, right? It's a slot check. Okay. Considering our experience with receiving gift from abnormality, we might just be able to get something to help with the exploration of the dungeon. Yes, sing! How does it look? Technically speaking, you have an easy time with it, but let me just double check our odds. Mm, one roll would be high enough. That's not very likely. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna count on you, Sing. He got this! Yeah, 20! <laughs> Whoa! You Sing touched the egg. It started glowing. As soon, or rather soon afterwards, it hardens and turns into a unique shaped gem. Looks like worth taking. Yi Seng seems rather tired, but there wasn't anything off about the body, as far as we could see. We left the place with a gem in our possession. Ah, he lost his pee. Fine, it's fine. At the very least, we got uh, a crumbled egg, which is certainly going to be worth it. On the first turn of each encounter, gain two ego resources of a random affinity in your possession. See? Sure, it drains the sanity a little bit, but in general, we are going to get more ego resources. So in that regard, it was totally worth it. Right? Kinda. Okay, let's go to the next battle. Or oh, another cutscene before anything, huh? Ishmael? <clears throat> It looks like the group was at peace. Things were good for a short while. It was a star we were on a trip. We thought everything would be fine after leaving our hometown from this new place. But alas, at the end of the day, human societies weren't so different from each other. Today, I saw something suspicious at the market. Now that intrigues me. What is it, Sang Hyo? This invention. Wasn't this your work for the League of Nine, Gabriel? It is, but I mean, there's no need to score markets and all that, right? It is trust and faith that binds us together, isn't it? I must have forgotten the League of Nine's law. LNL. <laughs> Fascinating. Rashu, you aren't supposed to say anything right now! This isn't in the script! You can't just use your shots again! <laughs> I know. They made me memorize every word of it. You think I forget? No technology made within the League shall be distributed outside. Be particularly careful not to be tainted with the smell of money. But we've been told that all our properties will be seized if we don't pay the rent for the laboratory within the next six days, right? 
What are we supposed to do then? We've got to do something about it. The money we earn from the factory can only barely keep us fed. We got here from Escop's district, taking nothing but passion for research with us. Tell me how else are we going to pay the rent? That's a valid point. Taxes are heavy on us because we migrated to another district. They are demanding a fee we cannot afford to pay regularly. I can pay that, so I suggest we put this matter to rest. Wait, why haven't I been told about this before? Ceased? Did you know all along, Yung Yi? I want to hear it from you directly. I understand that you're upset, but be mindful of what you say to brother Yung Yi, Dong Baek. I'm fine, Sang Ho. Dong Baek, I was planning to tell you once it has been dealt with. I figured you'll be the first to get furious about matters concerning the League. And you saying, well, I sincerely appreciate your offer. I couldn't possibly take it. It bothers me not, for accumulating wealth has no meaning to me. I urge you to spend it for the League's sake. What? Wait, you saying, were you that rich? <laughs> you might want to do a better job of remembering your parts, yes? The enemies will start attacking again, you know? Oh, she already broke out of character. But then again... Since when were you rich, she sang? That's the first time I heard about that. <laughs> Look who's fooling around like an oaf. Failing what's as easy as reading on paper, right? <laughs> it should trick, yes. And this time around, we even have the eagles. Just to make sure that anything changed with them. This doesn't really seem like it. Okay, then. There we go, not so bad. I have to say, with the gambling, with your sang and the level boost and friend boost, even those fairies are no longer any problems, right? <laughs> oh god, the boss is already up. And they're going to reset all of our SP. Isn't that just great? Technically speaking, we do have an easy fight over here if I wanted that, but then again, so far, I really didn't have to do it, so I guess it's going to be fine, right? During his time in the league, he sang invented his reconstruction of Yong Yi's glass windows. In the invention, he met his left handed self. Left handed self? Okay. Not gonna question it. Let me just see the boss. Let's see for ourselves what this left handed person's all about. On that spring day, I made a small mirror. I named it Yon Sin. And I happened to catch a signal by tuning out numerous noise and scattering, or the shatterings. In Yon Sin, I met you at last. My left handed self. Beautiful and serene. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm. You sang, isn't it? What a particular experience this is! And it mirror your whole thing. It's what I call Yon Sin. Yon Sin, huh? What? To grind or to study to to speak? Okay, I can I can't those, I cannot read those symbols. This is a product of grinding something, scrapping even the mines to polish it. I see. I suppose all versions of this thing. But dedicated to research. You have wings on your back if my eyes are deceitful. What do you think of them? Resplendent. They look quite warm and free. We looked into and ahead of each other. I only made minor modifications to Brother Young's work. I wanted to show a reflection of any possibility in its unvanished image without a blur. The stars I saw were lying on the ground, here seemed so far away, yet it was possible to see them up close. Is this why I haven't been able to see you lately? To discover this? I thought you caved to your yearning for rice and went back to Escop District, you know? I'd say though, this isn't half bad. The ring, why are you laughing like that? <laughs> it's just so funny, you're talking so ferociously. When your eyes are full of curious twinkles. Hey, you sang. Will you tell him to shut it? 
Why don't you just first hide your facial recreation of a child who's tried ice cream for the first time? Kubo, why don't you say something? You've been part of the league for fairly long now, so stop standing around like a guest. Don is Kubo? Okay. What more do I have to add? Everyone already seemed to be on one mind. If you try to be the odd one out, at least have some audacity. Some cold fish you are. I see. So this is how you view the world. The world I view is it. Did you know? They say every invention carries hint of the hopes and dreams of its inventors. Discovering them is one of the spectators' joy. It's a tidbit that's good to know. So, Yi Seng, what do you plan to do with this technology? Then we do what exactly? But the young Yi's glass window is already making the rounds. Researchers from other nests have taken an interest as well, or so I've heard. Really? We rarely saw visitors in the past, but now we might have to start punching tickets so all those people would stand in line. So if you're announcing your work here... Dong Rang, I have absolutely no intention of announcing this. Wait, none at all? All that I ask is to keep this as a moment of laughter, solely between us. Hmm. Look, just what is your idea of... <laughs> you sang. It was the second funniest moment I've seen out of you. The first is, you know, when the yellow calf was being fed milk and it suddenly licked his hair. <laughs> True, I've never seen Dong Bake laugh as loudly as then. That's... I think it's best to forget. Human's eye are such glistering, scalding things. Fearing that they would burn me, I tend to watch them from the side. However, not seeing the subject straight does not mean I think lowly of them. Even without looking, it is possible to seep in. Oh, by the way, is that the same as the mirror that we use? Similar, to be exact. Nimbus Company uses a mirror with specific modification. Oh, so we're using Yi Seng's technology? You invented something incredible, Yi Seng. Is that the origin of our identities? The mirror function from Yi Seng? Oh, that's, that's just cool. <laughs> What Yong Yi and I did was an invention. We discovered, rather. T Corp wouldn't have been pleased with the idea of technology capable of peeping into another world without permission. I do believe you know well enough that the problem lies with the lack of permission, not the capability of the technology. Although we had figured that, but we thought it would be fine, since it was only used as a pastime between us. The decision couldn't have been more guilt. Somebody must have talked about it. Somebody must have spread the thing. If this is just bet- Oh no! Not that guy! I hate that guy! <laughs> no, I mean, what, was, what I was trying to say. If this was just uh, between them and they had to keep it a secret because Teacup doesn't really like the mirror idea because of the permission thing. If that is the cause of some issues, then one of those guys must have said something about it. Right? One of them must have said something about it. Okay, what's this? Predator is already going for a strong move. That's not good. Cannot be redirected, cannot be clashed. Great! And there's no way for me to get tipsy, right? Can I... Nope, I have to guard. Guard and hope for the best. Just guard and hope for the best. Okay, I'm going to inflict it with a little bit of bind. I can't really do anything about that hit, so you kind of have to tank it, Ryoshu. We lost the first clash as well. That's also not so good. Oh my god. This is the reason why I don't really like that green blob. It already gave me some trouble in the mirror dungeon. First and foremost because of this huge amount of the uh, HP. And the fact that he is able to roll quite high. 
And he's kind of fast as well. There are multiple things. There are multiple things <laughs> that are kind of tricky to handle about him. Especially considering the fact that his ability also comes with a healing effect of 5%, which you can't really do anything about. Okay, wait a second. Can I at least see some more passives? Nope. He's still hiding some uh, skills as well. I'm gonna get a free hit in order to increase the poise. Come on! It's going to do a lot of damage, but also increases in his SP again. Okay. Good start. Now we can lower his damage for the next couple of rolls. We're also increasing our speed, seeing how I literally don't have the, the sanity to keep using my bind abilities. Okay, I was about to say. Okay, Tremor has been applied. And his stagger threshold is all the way at the end. Okay. I have to wait for this one. I don't really want to go for Rampage. But I kind of have to. I need to get the SP going. I really need to get the SP going. Okay, that's a good hit. I need to burst some Tremor. Even though it doesn't really do a lot at all. It's so freaking tanky. <laughs> it's so freaking tanky. Kind of wish that I had the, the stuff from the mirror dungeon. The last time that I fought against him, I had my Rapture team around. And even though he has a lot of health and a lot of recovery, at the very least, we had the option to just uh, Rapture him down with multiple stacks. So that was alright. Already sorry, Yoshu. You kind of have to tank that one. All right, I not tank, but you have to you kind of have to use the sanity a little. There you go. God, Ishmael. I was about to say, don't lose to that guy. Don't lose to that guy. Don't give him a chance. Don't give him a single chance. Okay, already down to seven hundred fifty. Okay, now I have to... Now I have to use this, right? If target has moral, boost damage. If target has tipsy, deal zero damage. And he's going to lose his HP. Now here's the funny thing. When I was doing this battle in the mirror dungeon, I was a bit stupid. <laughs> I used my my Faust and my home loo with their mass attack skills, and I kind of accidentally I might have destroyed this thing over and over again, so in that regard I can tap the face tank to stick, so yeah, it was the most blessed of time. And there wasn't really anything that I could have done to prevent this. Uh, he literally killed me with this move. <laughs> he killed my Ishmael because of it. So yeah, let's make sure that this doesn't happen this time around, huh? Totally. Okay, everyone is going to target this one. He's just going to let this through. And he should technically damage himself, right? That is how it works now. He's going to damage himself. Ryosha's gonna stay alive. That was on use. We clashed against it. Tipsy. Yes. Yes. I finally get to use the glass. Wait a second. Why? Why did you hit my Yisang? I kind of thought you would... Did he get more moral? Maybe? Oh well, at the very least we did a little bit of damage, so that's good enough. I'm going to go for a uh, grind the Mala. Should technically do a lot of damage, hopefully, but I'm not entirely sure. I had to go for the Ego on Rodion, since this roll was a little bit high for her. That's fine. The at least we were able to inflict some bleed on top of it as well. 500 health and he's still healing. I really wish if there... I really would want some kind of option to uh, deny him the heals. 
because of his huge HP pool, those in-between heals are really throwing us quite far back, right? Our purpose is getting the night that way. Uh, can I get a sticker? Did I get a sticker? No, right? I didn't think so. Okay. Do I need anything specific? Probably not. He's going to heal for another 5%. Still unfortunate! He has 56 tremor though, with a counter of 11. <laughs> Kinda wish that my uh, thing would draw more of its tremor burst. Now that I think about it, I'm not even entirely sure if it's even able to tremor burst anything. I mean, so far I was using uh, Gamble and the Grinding Mauler, and I'm pretty sure that I didn't notice any form of burst. So, in that regard, I am a bit confused about it. Okay, you want to go for my drink? Free hit and suppress. Double check. Seems like everyone is getting targeted by the correct thing. Okay. Come on. Come on. We're almost there. He still has so much health. No, wait. Oh my god. Why is he so tanky? <laughs> Why is, does he have to be so tanky? <laughs> okay. Okay. And we got the... Wait, he is the source of my tremor stuff? Oh, that makes sense. I mean, it, he is kind of green. I guess the green spirit kind of belongs to him. Good to know! Good to know! So I guess I kind of like you a bit more because of your ego gift, but as a boss fight, no thanks. <laughs> no thanks.